stuff here, that's borage. It's, uh, it's about this high and it gets these beautiful blue flowers and the bees love borage. They love borage and it's a real good companion crop with like tomatoes and stuff like that. And so what I did, I do every year is I plant it once and now I just till it and it comes back and, and it comes, it's, it's a weed and it comes back and you have to actually till it down. So, so what I'll do is I'll till all that stuff and then leave it in a row here. So all the stuff that's coming up in the row will survive and all the other stuff will till down. And this is uh, my, our winter, one of our winter uh, um, mustard um, beds. Here, have some mustard. Take a little bite because it's, it's sharp. See what, see what you think. I mean, if you don't like it, you can spit it out. That's not a problem. You like that? Mm -hmm. I like oh, it. Now, try this. That's halfway between mustard and spinach. It's actually a real mild mustard. It's called spinach mustard. Mm -hmm. And this forms the basis of our salads all winter. Wow. Here. That's really sharp. Or really hot. It is. I love hot. That no. one That one is milder, though. The spinach mustard is milder than the, uh, mm -hmm. than the green dragon. Mm -hmm. the green, green dragon. Yeah, that gets your... Wow. Sinus so what I did here... Is these are some volunteer leeks that I actually tilled down because they weren't going last year and then they came back. So I thought, well, okay, I'll, I'll, I'll uh, you know, deal See with nature here. So I topped them because when you top them, it makes them thicker. And then I, I, I put some compost and soil around them to sort of blanch them. So that was, so I'll eat those in a couple months. Okay. That's catnip over there for the cats. Mm -hmm. And then uh, let's go down to the, the end row. Mm -hmm. Have you ever had soil? Um, I haven't. Here, try this. Just, just take a little piece because it's real b sour. It's not bitter, but it's sour. And you know the the, the French like to make a, a winter soup, a bitter winter soup, out of it. And the Polish do too. They call it shav. Mm, I like it. Yeah, that's yeah, good stuff. I'll give you some sorrel too. To mm. you want it's like having the. Um, and in here, this was uh, you know some some salad greens that you know overwintered you know and. and it, it, the one is kind of hard on, but you can what? still see there's some of those red ones. That's outrageous red romaine. It's a real hearty romaine. So I go out here and just pick a little bit and make a salad out of the mustard and a little bit of this. And, mm -hmm. and this is all arugula. And that, that's another, that's another uh, basis of our salad. Now you know what arugula tastes like, right? I'm not real fond of arugula myself. Try it now. You'll find that it's, it's, it's okay. mellower than in the spring. And the reason is, it's because mm. now that's nice. it's head to it's had to form more sugar in the plant as an antifreeze to survive the winter. Mm. So that's why it's milder. Mm. Okay. So arugula, you know, springtime arugula is much better than, than the arugula you get in the summer. It's mighty tasty. It's not so peppery. Yeah. And, uh, and this is this is purple artichokes. And so I got some last year, and I, and I did the plants and put them in, and I got a, a, just a few artichokes last year. I'll get a whole bunch this year. But then in the fall, I took the rest of my seeds and I just seeded them down up there. And then, uh, so then this, this spring, just like a week ago, I went and took all the plants and then I just sort of spaced them out and transplanted them all. So this will come up this year and then I'll have two full rows of purple artichoke. And that's some old arugula. I'm still, uh, Kirk comes by and buys it. Well, I actually I give it to him and then he sells it to Nimbus. He, he sorts through it and all that stuff. And he sells the, uh, the flowers for a nickel apiece. Really? Yeah, yeah. And, oh, uh, you mean just for show? Well, like a, yeah, they, what they do, here, I'll, I'll give you some. The, um, at Nimbus and, and uh, you know, Fool's Onion and, and you know, restaurants like that, they, they, put, they put these flowers on, on the top of the salad as, as like a, and, and you can eat them. They're not bad. Wow. This okay. variety of arugula is called Rocket. And uh, the flowers from another variety called Astro actually taste better than these guys. These are kind of bland. Flower. They don't really have much taste. But the Astro flowers taste pretty good. Okay. And so I, I'm going to grow some Astro this year, too. So, uh, anyway, so, so Kirk comes out, so I, I go and I just cut a whole bunch, and I just give him these big bag, and he takes it home and washes it and sorts it and actually does all the labor, and then so he sells it for whatever price, and then he gives me a few dollars once in a while, but see, I, I, I can't sell that, you know, I mean, I, I'd have to pick through it and do all this labor, plus, you know, people, they just don't seem to want it, and then this row over here, that's our personal, see, see how it's just starting to seed down, so, so it's better. And this stuff, you can tell this is a whole roll, but I, I chopped so much of it and give it to him, and now I'm just telling it. And then his, because see, his, his arugula uh, 
they didn't get it planted early enough and it's just starting to come on now. Okay. So, so when Nimbus wanted to do their arugula specials in March, he needed arugula. 